what a letdown again. What a huge letdown again. I feel like these press conferences are meant to be boring. I think they plan it out to be very boring. But this was the most exciting, most boring. It was terrible. And it featured the whole main card. Plus, it featured, um, well, it featured Volkanovski, Rodriguez, Moreno, Pantoja, Whitaker, Duplessis, Hooker, Turner, Nickel, Woodburn. And they added the feature three of them with Robbie Lawler and Nico Price. I think the media members should be fired or checked up on. It was shit. It was so dog shit. I need to talk about it. Volkanovski says Rodriguez is dangerous. He's not overlooking him. Um, he says that he's not Josh Emmett because Yair's last one was Josh Emmett. I completely agree. Um, same goes for Tapiria in this situation where he beat Josh Emmett as well. Volkanovski isn't Josh Emmett. Um, I think Josh Emmett is... Um, I think Josh Emmett is a very overrated fighter. I think he has been for so long. And I think now it's kind of coming together um, of why he's losing so much, to be honest. That's my opinion on the situation. Um, <clears throat> it is um, my opinion. Um, but yeah, it was so boring, man. Terrible. Terrible. Like, this was meant to be boring. And Rodriguez said, Rodriguez doesn't have the best English in the world, but I think it will get better over time, you know, if he wins this. Like, if, it, if he rematches Volkanovski, I bet you it will come better around. It'll, it'll, by then, it will come around better. Um, but even if he loses, I think it will still improve. Yeah, just as long as he keeps, like, Moreno has good, good English. But Moreno has that light Lego five-year-old voice. But man, what the media members suck. I might make a whole video about them really soon, cause, like, if they do mess up again at the next press conference, what we have, man, they suck. They suck so much, man. Why are they letting me? Why are they giving so many? I get Lawler should get questions. Although Lawler, no offense, but he's completely dull. At, he's completely dull, a dull at press conferences. He's so dull. I'm like, no offense. Lawler is a legend, though. He should get the questions. Nico Price. Just an average UFC fighter outside the rankings. Not even. I don't even think he's right outside. I think he's down the rankings. You know. Like, what has he done? I know he's facing Lawler, but Bo Nickel is your star now. Your star in the middleweight division coming up. I know they, I know they have Ekram Aliskarov, and they used to have Abbas Magomedov before he lost to Strickland, got exposed as a shit fucking fighter. Um, hopefully Bo wins this. But Bo Nickel, Val Woodburn got more questions. I know he stepped up on short notice, but he got more questions than Bo Nickel. I'll get to Duplessis in a second, but I'm not done. Bo Nickel's your star. Val Woodburn's no one knows him. No one knows him. He's only known for stepping up here. If he wins, good for him. Awesome. He stole Nickel's hype. He's the guy now for people to watch out for. Especially if he gets a KO, which is likely. I don't see him winning a sub or a decision. Uh, I don't see him winning by any of them. So he has to get a KO. So. He's getting more questions. You know. Trajan Gore. Bo Nickel's original opponent. Probably would have gotten more questions. Than Bo Nickel. At this rate. This is just embarrassing. Embarrassing. Don't like this. Duplessis. They gave Whitaker good questions. Decent amount of questions. Former champion of the world. Arguably should beat the champion. Beat Izzy in the rematch, in my opinion, 3-2. You know? 
But we're not going to get into that now. But he's a former champion. He should get lots of questions. Turner got one question. And he's just personality-less. Has nothing. It's just like speaking to a robot, man. Jalen Turner just... Like, I, I just... What is wrong with him? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm ready. He should be like, let's go, Dan. Let's go. Or like, I'm going to get you, Dan. Hooker. His opponent. But it's just, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Why? Why are the media members asking this? You know? Oh, Dan's a good fighter. Dan's a, Dan Hooker's a good fighter. You know, like, it's just Jalen Turner should be at press conferences. But, of course, they'll add the whole main card. Like, Turner should be on fight nights, honestly. Main event or not, I don't mind. Just put him... I'm an idiot. Just don't put him on pay-per-views. And he's not even a promotable guy. I know he has good wins and good finishes, but... You know, the Gamrot fight wasn't really too fun. Like... I think it'll be fun here, but... Man, he's so bad. Like, he's so personality-less. Duplessis. Drick is Duplessis. A title... If he wins this, he's facing Adesanya next. Remember. If he just goes out there and looks great and gets a good win... And takes no damage and he's ready... Fuck Strickland. He's in line. And I bet you Izzy will probably lean... So I think Izzy will want Duplessis more than Strickland. You know? I think Izzy looks at Strickland like a clown. I think he looks at Duplessis like, I want to actually get this guy out of here. Um, so, yeah. Duplessis gets one question. One question early where the crowd boos him. He gets annoyed. And he does, like, a salute thing. Um... Yeah, he does a salute thing when the crowd boos. Hopefully, Drickus wins. I really want to see him versus Izzy. Really badly. Because I'm... To all, although I like Whitaker, I'm really not interested in him versus Izzy again. Especially as a main event. Like, if that's going to happen, put it as a co-main. Please. I beg of you. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, what else were there? Val would burn. Oh, Bone Nickel had a good line. Okay, Bone Nickel did have a good line. Because he said, um, well, he said he thinks Val would burn. He thanks him. Not thinks of him. He thanks him. Like, thank you. He said, he thanks him for stepping up on short notice. This is something I really like from Bo. Um, and then Val Woodburn was like, yeah, no problem. Val Woodburn was saying like, oh, yeah, no problem, dude, no problem. Um, let's go for war. And Bo Nickel, if he just ended there, screw him. But something he what he did was really good is that he's like, I don't think it's going to be war. Something like that. I don't think it's going to be war. And Val Woodburn, I think it's gonna be something though. And Val Woodburn's like, if Val Woodburn's like, it's gonna be something. It's gonna be something for sure, you know. But yeah, it's just boring. Lawler says Dana White, media members. Dana White talked about Lawler backstage, and he talked about Lawler Lawler's last fight. But yeah, Lawler says he's gonna be a coach after he's done this fight and he's retired. Yeah. That's what it kind of was. But, yeah. Yeah. That's literally about it. Media members said some stuff like, Why can Them girl fucking... Why can you go to another place for International Fight Week? Why does it have to be Las Vegas? It's like the female Sean O'Malley. Um, yeah. It's because he's acting like the female Sean O'Malley. And yeah, um, <laughs> and Dana White's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, Vegas is good. It's got hotels, restaurants. Who cares? Ask stupid questions. Dana White got most the most questions out of everyone. Got the most questions out of everyone. Oh, Moreno, yeah, 
Moreno and Pantoja, I forgot to say, uh, spoke about them. Yeah, um, yeah, what else I missed? Price says he's ready. Uh, violent, and um, violence, I think he, Price said some weird stuff, I don't know, I, he, he, like, his grammar wasn't there today, and fucking, um, Moreno says he's ready, he says that after this win, he'll get that off his record, his loss to Pantoja, I mean, the tough one doesn't count, but he did lose to him in the UFC before, so, it really is 0-1 Pantoja, but people bring up the tough fight. It's stupid to me. I don't think that should... I get you that... I don't focus on that. I focus on the last one they had. But I don't even... I focus on their last fights. Pantoja, though. Pantoja. Sorry. Alejandro Pantoja. Um, I don't know why I keep saying Pantoja. It's Pantoja. Pantoja. He seemed kind of shy. I don't know. Maybe it was the big stage... You know, a big stage here against Moreno. This is his moment. I thought he'd be heated and going after Moreno, but no. He just didn't like the booze, and that was it. He's ready to go. Man, it was so boring. It's like they put, like, Whitaker Duplessis, Duplessis as well. Should have went after Whitaker a little bit. Should have spoke about the artist on your beef. But no. No. They won't speak about that. Annoyingly, whatever. It was terrible. Terrible. Terrible press conference. And media members, some guy was like... Like the like the New Zealand president? Or, or prime minister? New Zealand? Or Australia? I forgot which one it was. And then it was like, yeah, I don't care what he says really. Or something like that. And he's like... Jack de la Madalena, Jimmy Group, Jimmy fucking Group, a fucking Dan Hooker, and fucking Robert Whitaker, fucking Alexander Volkanovsky, you know, like, fuck off, just wait, Shannon Ross, on the prelims, you know, like, no one cares, you're wasting time, yeah, like and, like and, like and subscribe, because I'm done, oh, the face-offs, yeah, you're huge, although you might be wearing boosters, he looked, he looked bigger than Islam against Volk. But they Volk and Islam were closer, so you kind of kind of see who's the real taller guy, but Islam is, obviously. Yair and Volk were kind of separate, not really. Yeah, whatever. We'll see at the weigh-ins when both have at least, like, we'll see at the weigh-ins when they both have, like, either shoes on, regular UFC shoes on, or the, the freaking, um, Flops, you know, the sandals thing, or slides, the slides, but yeah, um, Pantoja and Moreno are normal, yeah, Turner's a weight bully, hopefully he gets flatlined, and, um, Bo Nickel's bigger than Val, Val, uh, Woodburn, but yeah, like, like, subscribe, and Lawler and Price were nice as well, good night to fights, yeah, this was the boring part, though. And Fight Pass. Fuck you. Because you... Like, big announcement on Fight Pass. Like, why not go on YouTube, Instagram? GSP's going to fucking grappling. Fuck you. Fucking losers. Fuck Fight Pass. GSP. Hopefully, I mean, it's interesting. It's not like it's complete. It's not like it's freaking Gordon Ryan against fucking... Um, Felipe Pena, whatever it is, you know, at least it's GSP, he's back and grappling, I guess, hopefully against Khabib, hopefully it's not against, watch it be a no-name, but yeah, um, hopefully Khabib versus Silva, yeah, but boring ass press conference, yeah, peace.